Hey, what's up? John Sonmez here from simpleprogrammer.com. Tired of pushy recruiters sending you LinkedIn requests for jobs you have no interest in? Tired of blasting out resumes into the dark? If so, you should check out Hired.com. Hired.com flips job searching on its head by having top employers like Facebook come to you after you fill out one simple application. You also get your own job coach to help you on your next job search. If you haven't checked it out, I highly recommend you at least fill out the application. Just go to Hired.com forward slash simple programmer. And when you get hired with Hired, you'll get double the normal sign on bonus for using that link. So I got a question here that I've got some mixed thoughts on because this is definitely a, a difficult issue. I'll just read you the question. This is from Antal and he says, first of all, you inspire me a lot and make me do daily workouts first start of the day. That's good. You should do your daily workouts at the start of the day. I like that. All right, last 12 years I became an expert in one specific system. New technologies are used nowadays, but not yet in this my expertise system. Should I keep my current job hoping for an investment in new technologies or an old system? Or should I switch jobs uh, to where new technologies are already being invested in with maybe a decrease in my salary slash benefits as I continue a uh, less experienced ladder? What to choose here, John? So he gave me a little bit of additional info here. He's, he says he's 37 with three kids at school and at, you know a house with a mortgage so uh, so switching jobs needs to be a really good reason and the system that he's using is is document so here's the thing i mean this is what it really comes down to in this case is the, you can it's fear this is fear right fear never let fear m motivate you well never let fear drive you never let fear make your decision here so you're afraid for the future because you're afraid you're using an old technology, you're thinking, oh, well, maybe maybe I should go and hang with the cool kids that are, are on Node.js or whatever the new technology is, but you don't have a real good reason to do this besides fear. And, I mean, for all you know, you may have another 20-year career using this Documentum software. It, probably that, that option does exist, you know, knowing the software and that it's been around for this long. In fact, I always, I always butcher his name, but Nicholas Tlaib, Nicholas Tlaib, Tlaib Nick, Nicholas, whatever his name is. I've done some videos on, on his book. He's got a really good book, or he's got several really good books. I love all of his books, but I'm going to point you to Anti-Fragile. You can check out the review on that. And someday, I promise, I will figure out what his actual name is, like which order his 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 names are and, and say them. I promise this. But he talks about, in that book, this idea of, of being anti-fragile and essentially what, what, what one of the concepts I want to talk about here is this idea that if something's been around for a, a long time, it's more likely to be around for a long time, right? So the, the concept is this, is, is essentially, like I said, that if something's been around for a long time, you can count on it being around for much longer. That's, that's your best bet. So it, it comes down to the idea that if you are encountering something, you're the most likely time that you're encountering it is halfway through its lifespan. So something's been around for a thousand years, it's more likely to be around, most likely, most highly probable thing is that it'll be around for another thousand years, right? And that's that's not necessarily, means that that's an absolute fact, but you could take that with, with your technology here. So this is something just to consider. But aside from that, you, what you don't want to do is you don't want to just be afraid and afraid that the future is going to look uh, gloomy for for this technology and so you're going to jump ship and, and take a pay cut and go into another field just because this one because it, it's like waiting in line at the grocery store right and you're like oh well that line's moving faster so I better move to that line and though that line's moving faster if you do that with technology you're going to always be switching and you're never going to develop the deep expertise right now where you're at if you have deep expertise in something that's valuable now if you don't like this if you don't want to do the documentum anymore if you want to get into something else that's cool. That's a perfectly good reason to switch. But what 
what I would hate to see you do and what a lot of mistakes that a lot of developers do that are driven by fear is they start learning some technology that they're not actually using and by the time that they would actually use that technology it's changed or they've forgotten it or they never really learned it because they weren't actually using it they were just trying to watch a whole bunch of Pluralsight videos watch some Pluralsight videos <laughs> no I'll, I'll plug my Pluralsight videos here you can check them out and I and I and I'll, I'll say this from an unbiased viewpoint obviously I have a lot of investment in Pluralsight and I think it's awesome them, but I'm going to tell you, don't just watch Pluralsight videos on a bunch of technologies that you're not going to use. Pick the ones that you're actually using at your job or that you're going to switch into a career field. So, you know, we could talk about this for a long time, but in summary, it just comes down to this in, in my mind. Don't be driven by fear, okay? First of all, just don't let fear drive you. Second of all, don't worry about the future of technology and try to stay ahead of this treadmill you can't keep up with it it is on speed 15 okay if you're trying to keep up with the treadmill of technology and and make sure that you're at the bleeding edge while you're not actually working in it it's not going to happen it's not going to work so but if you want to switch careers right if you want to switch technologies or you want to switch jobs then start working on that but make sure whatever you switch to you're actually implementing and doing stuff in right don't don't just flat out try to learn stuff for the sake of learning it and hope that you got a bunch of tools in your Batman tool belt, that's not going to help you and it's going to be really hard. So if you said, okay, I'm done. I don't want to do Documentum anymore. I, 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 I can already see the writing on the wall. If this isn't a fear-based decision. It's just a logical decision. And you said, okay, now I want to learn something else. Then go ahead and do that, but create some projects in it, actually work in it. See if you can do some coding at your current job to build some tools, right, that are using this new technology. And then go and do that and, and, and make that switch. But make it for that reason, not because you're afraid. And also remember this. You're a software developer. The, the primary skill that you have is not necessarily in Documentum. That's where you got some deep knowledge, but it's in your expertise in solving problems. That's the higher level concept and skill, and you're adaptable, right? So you'll be able to pick up and learn a new technology. You're never gonna be starting from scratch. You're never gonna be a beginner ever again in your software development career after you have a certain amount of experience. All right, I hope that helps you. If it did and you want to ask me a question, you can email me at john at simpleprogrammer.com and like always click that subscribe button to subscribe and make sure you click the bell so you don't miss any videos that that come out talk to you next time take care